Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Philip Frateroli. I want to thank everybody for coming. This is the fifth annual um, Italian flag raising here at City Hall Plaza. And despite having an Italian mayor for about 20 years under Mayor Menino, it took an Irish city councilor, uh, Mike Flaherty, to, to start this, uh, this tradition. So even though he's not here today, I want to thank him. We also want to thank um, Councilor Stiomo, Mark Siomo from Austin Brighton, who's not here today, but is uh, a big part of this. And uh, our former city councilor, Sal Amatina, as well. So now that I have that all, all that done, um, we'll begin by um, introducing um, Adrian Madaro, state representative from East Boston. <laughs> Sorry, there's somebody speaking before him. Um, so as, as most of you know, this year's parade is going to be in East Boston, and our city councilor from East Boston uh, is new this year, Council Lydia Edwards. I'll be brief. I, I have to. I have only great things to say. Honestly, it's an honor to be the city councilor for the North End, East Boston, and Charlestown, and it's an even greater honor today to to celebrate Italian Heritage Month and all the contributions that folks have, have been able to contribute to this country. I, I, I often, with all my constituents, get to talk to them about where they come from, and they know it in Italy specifically where their family started, and that they came here with oftentimes little or nothing, many couldn't speak English, and now look what they've done. They've, they've, in many cases, have succeeded far more than their grandparents or great-grandparents ever thought they could. And so I think just looking at this community, it's wonderful to see the American dream continue to, to continue to grow and continue to grow for generations. And I think it's part of my job as, as the city council for this area to continue to honor and celebrate that heritage it is, uh, it is a privilege to be able to do so, and I look forward to making sure that for generations going forward, we, we celebrate Italian Heritage Month. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Italian flag raising. This is always such an exciting event, particularly for my family and me, because, uh, by the way, both my mother and father are here. Um, you know, my father came from Italy in 1981, which I believe is 37 years ago. And the fact that in one generation, his son gets to be the state representative in the community that I'm born and raised in, and my mom is born and raised in, of East Boston, and now we get to raise this Italian flag here on City Hall Plaza is so very special. So thank you all so much for joining. I wanna take a moment and just recognize some of my colleagues who are up on the stage behind me. First of all, uh, I, I am very proud to serve as one of the co-chairs of the Italian American Caucus at the State House. And I am joined today by uh, the other chairs of the caucus, Senator Saldi Domenico and Representative Paul Donato. We also have my state senator, Joe Boncori, who you'll hear from momentarily. Uh, the governor's counselor, Marilyn Petito Devaney, who I was told was the first Italian-American woman ever to be elected to the governor's council, which is pretty cool. City councilor, Michelle Wu. State senator, Nick Collins who may represent and be from South Boston, but believe it or not, he is pot Italian. We have Congresswoman-elect Diana Presley. Of course, we already heard from my city councilor, Lydia Edwards. We have the new Consul General from Italy, uh, Federica Serini. Thank you for being here. City Councilor Eddie Flynn. City Councilor Anissa Asabi-George, Representative Aaron Michaelowitz, and of course, Sheriff Tompkins. And we have Mayor Walsh, who is coming up next. We all know of the wonderful contributions of the Italian community, whether it is our culture, the arts, architecture, music, literature, food, it's all over us in this city. And no one is a better friend to the Italian American community than our mayor, Marty Walsh. So please join me in welcoming the mayor to say a few words. Hello, Paul Donato, welcome to Boston. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's, uh, thank you, Adrian. And it's great to be here today uh, with all the electeds and, and to support uh, such a, a great continuing um, heritage celebration here. So, buongiorno. Hey. Yeah. Um, let me just, um, what was it? how bad was it? That was pretty bad. I'm Irish. What do you want? We but, appreciate the same But let me, uh, let me, um, let me just say a, a couple thank yous, too. This weekend we have 
uh, a parade that's going on in East Boston that, that goes back between East Boston and, and, and the North End every year. And this year we're in East Boston. And the parade committee, I want to thank Joe Ruggiero for being here with us. Uh, Buddy Mangini and Aaron is on the committee, so thank you very much uh, for the celebration this weekend. This is the 19th annual Italian Heritage Month in the city of Boston. I want to thank the committee uh, for all the work that's been done in this event. Uh, certainly, um, the beauty about our city is that we're a diverse city, and we're diverse culturally as well, and it's so important for us to recognize and, and, and I remember uh, the, the contribution, particularly the immigrants that have come to our community and that continue to come to our community. And that's no different with the Italian community and the Italian American community. Uh, you have been in this community for centuries, uh, have made great contributions to the arts, humanities, and sciences, and, and certainly the food. Um, I was telling a story the other day, we we're talking about the conversation around immigration in America today. And we we're talking about how immigrants today are viewed very differently than the immigrants of the past. And, and I was explaining that in this country, when the Italians came to this country, when the Jewish people came to this country, and the Irish people came to this country, people didn't want those immigrants, didn't want us at that time. And you look at the contributions that the Italians have made to America, building our churches, building our roads, building our bridges, getting involved in civic life, getting involved in political life, getting involved in our nonprofits, getting involved in our hospitals, getting involved in so many different aspects of our community. Something that we're celebrating today. When you have a heritage day or a month or a year, that's what we're, that's what we're doing, we're celebrating. We're celebrating those different cultures. And today, we're celebrating the Italian community. And when you think about the Italian community, you obviously think about the North End, a tight-knit neighborhood that values family, tradition, and celebration. It's warm, it's inviting. When you walk down Hanover Street or Salem Street or any street in the North End, you can, it takes you back home. And that sense of pride, that's very important for a lot of people. I know that all of us up here and, and all of us in the city are proud that how the Italian Americans have shaped our city's future and showcase special events like, like the different feasts in the North End, celebrating the culture of the North End, and celebrating the culture of the heritage. Thousands of residents and tourists take part in these celebrations and get a taste of what the community is like. Boston is certainly proud to honor Italian Heritage Month with all of you. I want to thank everyone here who's, who has a part in our city in shaping the incredible city that we have. I have a proclamation that I want to read right now, and I'll just read a, a bit of it. I, let me just, I didn't sign it yet, I'll, I'll sign that too. Italian Americans have shaped Boston's culture and American society for centuries. And Italian Americans have contributed to all areas of life, including government, arts, education, and more. Italian Americans have preserved hope and determination in their pursuit of the American dream, even in the face of discrimination. And thousands of Bostonians and millions of Americans have shared the proud legacy of their Italian heritage. The United States of America is a nation that celebrates the cultures of all people, and the great seal of our nation declares, out of many, one. Now I, Mayor Martin J. Walsh, along with all of my other colleagues here today, do hereby proclaim October to be Italian Heritage Month in the city of Boston. And I want to congratulate all of you. And I urge all of our fellow Bostonians in joining me in celebrating vibrant culture, traditions of our Italian-American brothers and sisters in Boston and around the world. And now I have the great honor to introduce the new Consul General here with us today, Frederica Serini. She started, she started this past August. She came directly to us from Rome. She is known for her work in commercial affairs and has spent time working all over the globe. She has been already involved in the community and helping us plan lots of events this month. I'd like to say we're excited to welcome you here and say thank you for being here with us. Thank you. Buongiorno. I'll say it. <laughs> So good morning everybody, I'm very, very happy to be here. Um, I had never expected, I must be honest, to be 
to, to have such a warm welcome from the Italian community and from all the communities here in Boston. Um, I had heard that there was a vibrant Italian and Italian-American uh, community here, but I had never expected it to be so warm and welcoming, and I had never expected the month of October to be so busy. So we are getting right into it, and it's my pleasure to be here today. It's been a very, very exciting week. Uh, one that has uh, made me understand how much pride there is in the Italian community here, and that's something that is really uh, touching in a way because sometimes when we live in our own country we, we tend to forget how important our heritage is abroad and what a mark we've made as Italians and Italian Americans here in this country. So I think it's a very, very important thing to keep in mind and to celebrate year after year. I'd like to thank and welcome um, a person that is very special to me uh, and that most of you will know and have seen during this week. He traveled all the way here to Boston to be here uh, during the first week of the Italian Heritage Month. And it is Maestro Mogol. He is the most famous lyricist. Is, if you can stand. Maestro Mogol is the author of all the most important music words that have been created for the last um, 20, 30 years in Italy. And so when he heard that there was this flag raising event today, he immediately said that he wanted to participate. And so that just get, goes to show how important it is for us as a community to stick together, to always go hand in hand and try to make the most of our heritage, which is very, very important here and elsewhere. Thank you very much. Next up, we will have the national anthems.
while we keep cranking the flag up, I want to welcome our state senator for the North End, East Boston, Winthrop and Revere, Joseph Boncori, to say a few words. Buongiorno. That's how it's said, Mayor. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome. It's great to see everyone here today and celebrating Italian American Heritage Month in the city of Boston and throughout the Commonwealth. Um, I want to thank the mayor uh, for hosting us today on City Hall Plaza. It's important to note the mayor, uh, that I'm sorry, Councilor Flaherty uh, was, a, was a person and the, the moving force behind w having the Italian flag risen on City Hall Plaza. But it wasn't until Marty Walsh came to office that the Italian flag was displayed on the front of City Hall. So he's been a great friend to Italian Americans. I want to thank you for that. As he said, it took an Irishman to do that. Both things, actually, right? Uh, but really, I want to thank you all for coming out here and celebrating the contributions Italian Americans have made to the history of this great city of Boston and throughout the Commonwealth. And it's important that we remember those traditions and we push forward and realize that Italian Americans are not just shaping the past of this history, but they're also shaping the future of this great city. And we have Italian Americans like Filippo Frateroli here today, who's a leader in the North End. Jim Aloisi from the North End Health Center, thank you for being here. We also have the president of the October the Italian Heritage Month, Richard Vita. Thank you for being here and all you've done this, this week. Also as pointed out from the Dante Alighieri Society, we have Lino Rulo. Comandante, where are you? There you are. And um, you know, this week's an important week for Italian Americans across this Commonwealth, and this weekend's important. Growing up as an Italian American uh, with a father who was very proud of his heritage and actually national president of the Order of Sons of Italy in America, this weekend, Columbus Day weekend, was an important weekend. Because in, during Columbus Day, although it's become very controversial, my family always remembered that it, our, our Columbus Day was about the struggles of Italian Americans, the assimilation of an, an acceptance of Italian Americans. When that holiday was, came, into, came to fruition in the federal government and in the state of Massachusetts, Italian Americans had uh, realized they assimilated into society. And it's important that we remember Italian Americans and the struggle they went through. And it's important that we remember that into the future. So our children, our children can be the children of the next leaders of the city and of the state. And they'll be people of compassion who remember what their ancestors went through. And they'll recognize compassion in the, in the new immigrants of our city and our great state. And they'll show them that same compassion. So I just want to thank you all for being here and celebrating October's Italian Heritage Month. Send happy Columbus Day to all. Thank you. And now Phil Frateroli is going to provide some closing remarks. Thank you all. Thank you all for coming. And thanks to all our elected officials. Thanks to Maria Lanza and Gigi Colella, uh, who helped put everything together. Um, and just to remind everybody that the parade is on Sunday in East Boston beginning at 1 o'clock. Thank you again. Ladies and gentlemen, please give one more round of applause for Phil Fratteroli and his family because this event would not be possible without their efforts.